I, I haven't... <coughs> I haven't personally met anyone who deliberately did something very bad to me. I've heard about people doing bad things, but I always wonder afterwards whether, whether it was that they were led into it in some way. Um, it's, it's hard to know. It's talking, I've been hearing about evil ever since I was born, but I, I've, you know, I, I think Hitler was evil. But I'm, I'm still not absolutely sure. I, mean, I think it was just mad. You know, I, I, I think it's much more... It's a kind of madness, evil. Because it, it, it can't possibly bring you any good result in the end. Are we on camera? Is this all happening? <laughs> I, you know, it seems, uh, it seems such a crazy, a crazy strategy to use for, for, for surviving in this world, to be evil. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me. There are a lot of people who, who don't know how to be good, who, who think they're being good and are just being a terrible nuisance. You know, pe people who, who don't really know how to express themselves in a way that <coughs> that you can accept, and uh, I mean, one of the things that often happens on if you're traveling on a motorcycle, for example, in Latin America, is that is that the uh, um, the, the more Latin parts of the population feel somehow challenged by this macho symbol of so, <coughs> and they and they can sometimes do stupid things. I tried to counter that because uh, I, tr I tried to counter that by carrying a, a, white, a white bag that I got from some friends in Rio de Janeiro that was, uh, had very, very, in very big letters on the, on the bag that it was from a ballet company. And, and I thought that it would be very confusing for these macho Latinos <coughs> to see someone on a motorcycle who was connected to a ballet company. Uh, and it, uh, I don't know if it worked or not, but I think they would have, because ballet is definitely not macho. It's, um, anyway, um, I don't know if there are, if there are if, uh, I don't know if there are really, really bad people, really evil people. I think mostly there are good people who are misled <coughs> and, um, and don't understand. It's, 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 it's important to know that you're good. It's also, it's also important to know that being good is good for you. And that's something that actually took quite a long time for me to realize. That you... Uh, that apart from not wanting to be caught doing something bad, it, 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 or you're shown up by somebody catches you through doing something bad, um, it's it's actually very good for you personally to do good things rather than bad things and it always somehow works out in the end and I'm not really sure there is a bit of a mystery there I've noticed that um, that on those on those occasions when I'm very generous and I give things away people start giving me stuff and I, d I don't know how that works or why it works but but it does seem to and there's something similar about um, just being a pleasant person, if you you know if you're if if you're respectful and nice with people and and uh, and share your um, your feelings with them, um, you get good stuff back. So, if only it was all like that, it'd be so nice, wouldn't it? We wouldn't have all these problems. This business of change is very interesting. I mean, I. <clears throat> and there was there was a lot of stuff going on in the 70s about um, human potential and and change and uh, and there still is I mean there are still lots of people making money selling books about how you can change yourself in seven nights and seven days and ten kilos and all sorts of things um, I'm not I, I don't really think that people change, actually. 
I think that they are simply revealing something in themselves that was there all the time. And it uh, just takes a certain amount of, um, <coughs> uh, of hard work to, to, to expose it. The, um, this whole business of becoming something different is more to do with, with r realizing a, a, a fe feeling strong enough to be, to be able to say what you really feel like saying and not have to say, not to tell lies about who you are and about other people. And it's extraordinary how many lies people do tell in their everyday life, e you know, even though you wouldn't call them lies, but... <coughs> But we deceive each other a lot. Um, language is a great is a great source of deception. And sometimes you can get on much better and in a much more uh, fundamental way with people if you can't speak their language. If if um, if they if you're talking sign language, if you're or body language or whatever you want to call it. Um, <coughs> It's very hard to lie. It's 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 very it's a very open form of communication, and and I think you <coughs> you get to the truth much better like that, as I did with these people in the desert in Sudan and so on. Um, I didn't speak any Arabic, uh, but but we had a a really good understanding. So that's. Uh, that's really an important, an important part of it. And then again, you know, people are bad because they feel threatened. And one of the most important things about traveling well is not to be threatening. Um, not to, uh, not to look as though you you come from an, uh, another planet or that you're a you know that you that you have some feeling of, of superiority, uh, or that you're there to <coughs> take something from them in some way. Um, it's if you can if you can remove that f that fear of threat on their part, then then they behave really like good people, which is part of what I was saying earlier. You know about. Well done.